Hi guys, welcome to my system here. The question of a user is about actually Arconix B, but you, yeah, you should know that Arconix B gives you so much freedom. It means you can build it yourself. The B stands for building it. So the build your own ISO is all explained in here, but there's also more. There's the personal and are the tutorials. And in here, and the question is about drivers. Can we include driver X to the ISO and so on? It gets difficult in the sense that you need to have already some experience in building packages, adding repos. It's all possible, right? But it's knowledge. The simplest thing is concentrate for the moment if if that's still your not your thing if it's your thing guys alc.online it's all explained local repos building packages and all that it's there alci.online but if if that's too far bridge too far yet this is so easy we have on our system a personal folder did you know you're the, probably the only uh, system out there that has a folder called personal uh -huh. yeah and it's even filled in my case. This is XFCE. Uh, yeah, with Sardi icons. This is XFCE with candy icons with the toolbar at the bottom. And this is XFCE with the toolbar at the top with candy icons. So any kind of theme and, and, and settings you like, I put it in here. All the thing I need to type is personal one. It's an, an alias. I have personal personal one two three four five six so i can make more themes when i feel like it and i just change by applying an alias and it copy pastes over my personal stuff so take a look at this we're gonna concentrate on okay fine so i can build my own iso cool um and then you choose right you choose one 26 desktops i have to choose one <sighs> doesn't matter I've chosen a small print. XS is small and extra large in clothing. It's, it's a cruise ship. XS means hardly anything is on there. So you can keep on, keep on adding things. So that's it. That's one thing. Decide from what template you start. So control C. I have already a desktop that's quite filled, but okay let it be there and then open terminal here and control shift V okay so we got ourselves an Arconix XS ISO in the arch ISO in here there's a personal folder now what if I need and I have to look at the code I took a picture of the problems question PNG I only have the files B, R, C, M, F, Mac, F, 4, 3, and so on, and, and so on, and so on. Text, is there a way to add these files to the lib firmware? Yeah, you could do that as well. It was not what I was intended to do. But assume you have the files. What you do is you go to the future system. This is your future system. This is your root. Root, etc. Root personal root root so that's the person the user and that's the user folder so if you know where it has to go and you say it's going to be lip which i find very strange is it not strange or do we have a lip at root you see there is no lip at root level here there is but it's going to point to somewhere else isn't that is it not let's have a look properties that's pointing to user lib okay so user lib you can do this here so this can go user and now we make a folder create a folder lib and whatever you find keep on the structure the structure it has to be the right names no typos correct uh, capital letters, small letters, it, it matters in Linux, and put everything in here. And you'll have it on the file. The thing is, it's not known by Pacman. 
this is basically what we did years back when I had Arch Labs as developing, I was developing Arch Labs four years ago. What we did was we added user, share, and then backgrounds of the wallpapers. And then we realized later, ah, we can't change them. They're there forever and ever. They, 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 they written in stone because it's not packaged. Pacman has no clue that there are files there. So I would advise against such an approach and rather stick to something simpler. I know, I don't, I don't know if it's simpler, but what if you put your packages that you need on here? By that I mean, if you know what packages you want from the internet, if you say Ctrl T and you go for yay and you find your Mac, and you find something, they say, I need to have an AOR package. Everything else is okay. Everything that's coming from community, so let's scroll up. Everything that's coming from Multilib, community, what else? As long as it's not AOR, extra, all cool. It's just a pseudo Pacman minus S. Just put it in the list. Anything from Arconix, gonna be fine installing everything with an a you are in front you can't put it on the iso it's a recipe it's not a package and for instance here's the linux macbook huh? I, the first thing i see with the word mac but if there's a driver in here somewhere what can you do you can build it i see your emacs kit let's assume this is the driver emacs kit okay one three five Boom, and you build it. You build Emacs Git. Let's hope it works. The end result is that you have a file somewhere where in the cache, Paru and Yay. Both folders are here. Yay is here, and Paru is here. So I switch between one and the other. I use them both. I really don't know what I actually used. I think it was yay. So let's have a look. Emacs kit. It's being processed. Oh no, look at that. Look at that. <gasps> Receiving object. Control C. 1.35 gigabyte. Oh my God. I couldn't have made a worse choice. So you have to find something a bit smaller for my video because that's gonna be huge. Fonts, that can't be much. Fonts, TTF Mac fonts, Control C. So find yourself the driver, build the driver, that's the message. Let's do Paru now. Find yourself the driver, you find the driver, you build it locally, fine. Where does it end? It ends in either Yay or Paru, whatever you're using. And you get an application. Clone. Lots of stuff. I've been playing around with it. So that's the source. He's going to build it. That's the package. And that's the thing you want. This is as simple as moving A to B. Voila, it's on your ISO. Will it be installed? No. What will you do later after installation? You go in here and you say, sudo pacman minus u and you install the driver the application whatever and then actually you don't need to go in a terminal double click then access oh i need something to i need to install something fine well i'll ins install the mac fonts why not maybe they're nice mac fonts i'll switch around and have mac fonts later on done so use the personal folder for whatever you think is necessary that you want to have on the ISO. It can be dot files, it can be packages, it can be recipes, the, the, the package builds, why not? It can be wallpapers, I mean, it can be anything. It's just a folder, it's ready, it's there, and all you need to do is run it, the standard scripts, eh? run the standard scripts, and this particular thing 
will go on the ISO. This will be your structure, as you see here. It's the structure from all of us. We all have personal folder. And whether you build, whether you put something inside of it, it's entirely up to you. That's the power of this bit of um, code here. Creating themes. I have, I've added themes, but why not that wallpapers or icons or drivers or anything really? If you know you have an Arconex 300, I have um, an NVIDIA driver that you have to build and it, it's already built, well, put it on the ISO, create it. So lots of information here. And this will be the video, one more, how to add drivers, well, anything really, to your ISO. So that's the question that, we, that they've put and we have some drivers we want to put it either user lib and so on which means pacman has no clue that you did it if you build a package and you install it with pacman ah yeah then he knows he can update it later on and he can uh, he can remove it later on it pacman can control it otherwise it's out of its control so i would always recommend a package in there all right just 